Hey, uh, what's up comrades? My name is Antem and in today's tutorial I will show you how to create a 3D text intro in Sony Vegas. So uh, let's begin by creating a new project. Let's create a new video track and uh, in this video track we create some text by right clicking on the track and choosing insert text media. Let's type uh, some text. In this example I will type 3D text. I will also choose a different text font. In this example I'll be using the Ash font. This is a free font you can download. The link to this font is in the video description as well as a video tutorial on how to install fonts. Now uh, let's create another video track. Then let's go to Media Generators, then Color Gradient, then pick Elliptical White to Black and drag it onto our newly created video track. After you've done that, click on Compositing Mode in the first track and choose Multiply Mask. Then click on Make Compositing Child in the second track. Finally, click on Parent Composite Mode in the first track and choose 3D Source Alpha. Another important detail is, as you can see, our first track is 10 seconds and our second track is only 5 seconds. So first we shorten our first track to 5 seconds and then we click on Generated Meteor click on match event length and this way both our tracks will be of the same length. Now let's create a third video track. Drag this track all the way down so it becomes last in the list then copy the content of the second track and paste it into the third track. In the third track we click on event pen crop we put a check mark here and this way enable mask then we choose anchor creation tool by clicking on it or by just pressing D and we start drawing a very simple mask point by point one two three four when you finish drawing the mask just hold alt key and click on any of the points of the mask to make it rounded when you finished click on path mode and select negative then change the feather type to both and feather percentage to something around 20% now let's create another three video tracks. You can do it by clicking as we did before or you can press three times Ctrl plus Shift plus Q and it will do the same. Then drag all the newly created tracks to the bottom. One by one by one. When you've done that, copy the content of the third track and paste it into the fourth track. Go once again to Event Pen Crop, choose Position and add 5 pixels to your width. Then copy your fourth track and paste it into your fifth track. Click again on Event Pen Crop and add another 5 pixels to width. And finally copy the fifth track and paste it into your sixth track. Click on Event Pen Crop and add 5 more pixels to width. If you've done everything right, you'll see that your text has now some sort of a 3D effect. Now let's attach track 4, 5 and 6 to the third track. We do it by clicking on Make Compositing Child on track 4, 5 and 6. Then in the third track click on Parent Composite Mode and choose 3D Source Alpha. What's left now is the animation. In the first track click on Parent Motion, type in minus 10 in the Y axis under Orientation. Then move the cursor to 5 seconds in the timeline and this time type in 10 in the Y axis under orientation. By doing that we've animated our first and second track. Now let's animate the rest of the tracks. Click on the parent motion in the third track. Go to the beginning of the track by clicking on first keyframe and type in minus 10 in the Y axis under orientation. Then move the cursor to 5 seconds in the timeline and type in 10 in the Y axis under orientation. Once you've done with the animation, let's give the text a more realistic look. In the second track, click on Generated Media, go to Effects, make a check mark in the box near Draw Shadow, and for the feather slide, type in 0.05. Then make a check mark near Draw Outline, choose the color black and type in 0.25 for the feather slider. And yeah comrades, that's basically it. When you've done all the steps, you're finished. 
As always, uh, like the video if you found this tutorial helpful, subscribe to this channel for more video tutorials for Sony Vegas After Effects and Cinema 4D. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye!